This is Yasmin and Tai Kwan. They fell in love with Sierra. The three of them decided to become a thruple after Yasmin caught Tai Kwan cheating with Sierra. Now their relationship has blossomed into a family of 11, but not everyone believes they are genuinely happy. Majority of them swear that this is just like Goals. some big How did you feel when you found out that Sierra was more than just my friend? I'm the middle man and I'm in the middle right there. And they're on two different sides. And when they're gone, I'm in the whole bed. I get to sleep across. We are all romantically involved. Me and Sierra are not sister wives. As much as he is my husband physically, she is my wife physically. But we've been together for all of us together about what, eight seven, years? Seven, seven eight years. years, yeah. Me being uh, super young and being a, I'll say aggressive male <laughs> at, at that time, I was a cheater is what they call it. So that's actually how I met Sierra because I was cheating. So I met Sierra at work. Mind you, I didn't pay him no attention when I first got there. <laughs> I was just walking to the bathroom one day and he so happened to ask me to go get him a juice out the fridge. Then when I came went, back man. with the juice, but then she went. he handed me his phone number. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's very smooth. So when I found out, um, of course I was bothered by it and I asked him to stop. And when he didn't stop, I felt like maybe it was something more serious and I can look into it because it's something that I had said that I was open to. I'm the one that kind of set up that first meeting. How I felt about the poly relationship is that that's the first time I've actually seen it. When I got into it, it was a back and forth of trying to be poly, but then still having that monogamous mindset. I know it happened in the Bible <laughs> and stuff like that, but actually seeing it for myself and being in it, it was a struggle for me. Like I spent a lot of time trying to show her that, hey, I'm serious, I do want you here. And I'm the one who eventually asked her to move into the house. I like the idea of a big family. I like this specific dynamic because I feel like more feminine energy does help a household. It was the way before people decided it wasn't the way. I don't think I really ever held it against him because we were young and I have had my things also. Humans are humans who make mistakes, but I can't say that she's a mistake. Where we're going is the Legion of Doom is what I like to call it. Okay. The Dungeon of Destruction. No caps to the electric because these are children of the wilderness. We have the first ever made, what, one, two, three, four, five <laughs> bunk beds. This wall was all painted black, but they've made two holes in this wall. Yo, you know the weirdest thing he asked for for Christmas? He asked for, um, what was it? A humidifier. What? A humidifier because it smells like teen spirit up here. It's like one of the smartest gifts that I've ever thought for a teenager. For me. Biologically, I got my three. I've got Tashan, Taekwon, and I've also got Zion. I got my bonus kids being Jeremiah and Noah. Um, as far as getting along, I mean, I think that when it comes to any brotherhood, you're gonna have your quarrels and your beefs. But I think there was a pretty good mesh because I think everybody bounces off each other. And this is the girls' room. Here we have Akira. This is Jasmine's daughter, and also mine. And this is my oldest, Asia. And we have Skylar, me and Taekwon's daughter. We've been through almost everything that anybody could imagine before we made the right choice to, to say, hey, this is what we're gonna do for the rest of our lives. With a lot of people finding out about the situation, we've actually watched monogamous relationships fall apart, divorces happen, and we're still together. So it's kind of like one of those things where y'all have all of these questions and you have these doubts, but you know, we've outlasted your some relationship. Of the yeah. 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 <laughs> Has it been a ride? For sure. Yeah, Roller coaster. Roller coaster. <laughs> But I like amusement parks. I think that the relationship has affected all of the children mm -hmm. in some way, shape, form, or fashion. The teachers hear certain things like, what, you got two moms? You got two moms? You're like, yeah, I got two moms, you know? Mm -hmm. But I think that they understand the situation to be more love, more everything. Scrolling down the comments, I'll be honest, man, a majority of them swear that this is just like Goals. some big I'm like, do you understand that these women have attitudes? You know, they get mad at me, and that's two attitudes at one time. We're normal human beings. Like, it's not, it's not, like, I don't know what these guys think. I think they think more of the sexual part of it, and then instead of exactly what we're doing as a whole. Like, this is a unit. We have eight kids in this house. 
kind of lot. That is me. not our main goal. When it comes to chores and stuff, because we have a lot of kids, a lot of hands on deck, we have a chore list that has everybody's daily chore that they're responsible for. In terms of like cooking and laundry and stuff, we try to establish rules so that they know how to kind of run a house when they get older. Does it always work? No, not at all. She's the peacemaker. Me and him are like the hell raisers. <laughs> I cook sometimes too. My fried chicken was really super good, bro. It was super good. I got a man of many talents. I don't really like to brag too much. <laughs> you see people, oh, I can never do that. Or like she said, oh, they oh, must have just low self-esteem. <laughs> and it's like, eh. I would say some of the biggest challenges are sometimes ego, but I feel like that's the same in monogamy. Ego, jealousy, all of those things come up. We have to learn how to compromise. We yeah. have to learn how to compromise with each other. Cause it's three people. This is the real answer that they want to know, right? The downside to this relationship is having to find out what to eat. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah we you never, you still you don't imagine know. Imagine going through that with your wife and you have one wife. You're like, what do you want to eat? I don't care. And then you say, I'm going this place. And they're like, no, nah, I don't want that. Imagine that times two. I want to see how my thing needs it. <laughs> My family thought that she was just my homegirl <laughs> who I was bringing to family functions. My mother was open to that. She accepted us for who we are. Did I get backlash from other family members? Yes. They're like, what are you doing? <laughs> they thought I they had like, low self-esteem. No, oh, man, I oh, never had low self-esteem. She's got no self-esteem. Yeah, it was like, no. Wrong. For the most part, my family was very much open. My friends very much open. My that. friends, <laughs> on the other hand, they're like, they're together. Like, where do you fit in? Of course people had questions. Mm -hmm. Pretty much for the first year or so, you were just quiet. I just kind of saw you just moving. And I think it wasn't until later that we actually um, built a relationship. Yeah, it was kind of awkward. I'm not gonna lie, being around the parents. <laughs> Cause this was, I didn't know how they all felt. This is my daughter-in-law and this is my son-in-law. I don't care if people give me that look or whatever, what? But that's not your business. Are we making more babies? <laughs> Personally, oh. I can't have any more, so. That would be on you, ma'am. Well, you're a troop now, right? A troop, a throw, a troop. A throop, you're a troop. She said a troop. <laughs> they work together as a family unit. Everybody, their mom, and this is dad. And I, and I like that, and there's no, there's no difference. If you're gonna have an opinion, keep it to yourself. You're speaking on someone else's relationship or how they love someone, that's none of your business. I think the biggest thing that I want people to see when they look at our family is do what you wanna do. Mm -hmm. Live how you wanna live. Mm -hmm. If you want two partners, you wanna have a whole bunch of kids, do that. And don't let anybody stop you. I've learned a lot from both of these women. I've learned a lot from all of these children. You can miss out on a lot of things by not being open-minded.